welcome, welcome, welcome again to another Vlogmas video. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about holiday self-care. Now, with all the hustle and bustle of running around trying to get things done for Christmas, um, getting things done for New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, whatever, then so number one. Spend time doing absolutely nothing. Now, as silly as that sound, maybe you're the type of person you can't really do that because you may um, have different circumstances where you cannot just do that as you may want in your power to make it possible. Please do so because I always tell people this here you cannot pour from an empty cup. And I know that, especially for myself. So, taking the time out is to refresh, refill your soul, and just get back to you. Okay, number two, exercise. So that doesn't, um, doesn't have to always mean going to a gym. It can, maybe you have things in your home. Maybe you have a home gym at home. Maybe just one thing. Or, you know, if it's going outside and walking around your block, walking around your neighborhood, something that you can always do, small data added to big results. And it also helps with the mental as well. Number three, um, Listen to some music that either calms you or encourages you with enthusiasm to excite you to get out of a funk. Um, for me, it's different. It's very different genres that I love when I'm just in that calm, mellow mood and my mind is just like eh, kind of running everywhere. I love that soft jazz music, you know, classical to just help mellow you out. Okay, you're just in that complete zen mode. When you feel like you're in the funk and you just want to just bust out some moves to it. Um, number four, go outside if you can and just take in the nature. So rather that's just opening the door and viewing the skies. If it's going well down the sidewalk, if it's going to your um, nearby park or going maybe a little bit further, if it's doing sit in your backyard or in, in, in you cutting flowers or you know, whatever you can. Um, number five, make a gratitude list. Now you may think, well, wait a minute. Thanksgiving is gone. We're out of November. We're into December. It really doesn't matter. Every day is every day is a day to be grateful um, the way that I feel and view about it. Every day that you're above ground is something to be grateful and thankful for. And on your life, the good times, the bad times, you know, I'm getting emotional because I even had a moment before... I did this video where I had to cry because, you know, getting close to my birthday being this weekend, there's a lot of things that were just on my mind and I was just, you know, overcome with gratefulness. Okay, number six, reconnect with yourself. You have to because like I said before, you cannot pour from an empty cup. So rather that, you know, um, exercising, you know, relaxing, doing something that a favorite hobby that you enjoy, you do to reconnect with yourself, something that's particularly, um, you know, part of your personality, part of your character, do that to make yourself happy, make yourself smile and to eliminate a lot of stress that doesn't need to be in your life. Number seven, write in a journal or in a diary. I am a fan of writing in journals and diaries. My mom has Purchased me a diary ever since I was maybe like, what, 10, 11 years old. So that's been part of my life for years. And especially back in 2016 when this whole chronic illness journey started, I have always written in my journal. The good times, the bad times, the moments, all of that where I can look back and say, okay, well, this is how that was this time. This is how it is now. It's just in written and memorable um, journey that I can just look back and read and you can see the tears, the joy, you reconnect, spend time with people that you haven't seen in a while. Um, besides, you know, people that you see every day, they are abundantly important, but there's other people that's in your life. Maybe you haven't talked to them already, with their mental check-in and they need to have someone checking on them. So definitely. Okay. Take a break off of social media. Now, for some people, that may be a hard pill to swallow, but it's necessary. I even had to do that for myself. That's why you didn't see so many videos. Um, the time to just push back, sit back. So, social media has its ups and downs, but they have so many amazing, great positives to it. And a lot of times it becomes so addictive for good reasons that you just don't want to let go. Alrighty. Read a good book. Now, reading books, now, 
I am a old school person. I've always loved books. Um, you know, a lot of times when we're living in this digital age and everything, you know, a lot of people are Amazon Kindle, you know, ebook readers and no hate, you know, against that. But I'm just that old school person. Like I love the feel of a book but to read a book and curl up by the fire or you have just the heat of blasting. However you do it, do it well. Pray, meditate, relax. There's only one mind that we have. And when it's not stable, you know, it's just like when you're, your body may feel sick. Well, think about it. So does the mind. So if the mind is not being healed and restored and, you know, relaxed, um, it's like a, it's any other muscle. It has to be, you know, taken care of. We have to have top-notch maintenance. Um, donate to a shelter. Um, maybe there's someone around you, maybe next to a neighbor that might need help. Um, a shelter that might need food or, you know, need time. You know, however that may be. Um, you know, I do not record or take pictures of when we do things for the homeless because I am a firm believer. And that's something that we were raised. You know, if you're doing things, you don't have to put it out there to say, oh, this is me and you're boasting about it. I'm on the sharing that because that is something that makes me feel good. I've watched my parents do that all of my life since I was young. And I'm glad that my personality is like that. I married someone that thinks like me. And we think like each other in that perspective, always wanting to go out of our way to help people. Puzzle books, you know, or crossword puzzle. Now, you know, puzzles have been around for years. You know, maybe you're the type of personality that loves the regular puzzles you know, that you just put together on the floor, you see that at the table. So there's all different kinds. I mean, big ones, small ones, gigantic ones. I Take a spa day. So rather you're going to a business or you're doing that at home. So rather that's at home and you're doing candles and you're soaking in the bathtub or you're taking a nice longer shower and having like some maybe, um, you know, aromatic candles or I don't know, like with the little bath bombs, maybe using that to just rise up in the shower and give you a better overall, you know, zen experience. Whatever you do, do it well. Or baking a favorite sweet treat. Um, so whatever that sweet treat may be, you know, maybe it's a brownie, maybe it's a sugar cookie, um, maybe it's trying something new that you've seen online or having a recipe that's been in the family for generations or maybe of your own creative mind and you come, you're getting down to the home stretch, you guys. Number 16. Okay. Go to bed early or if you can, you know, on time or guess what? Throw that all away and just sleep in, <laughs> you know, but... Really try to go to bed on time or go to bed early, you know, and especially, you know, if you're a worker or, you know, you're a stay-at-home parent, you know, male or female or just whatever, you have to have a body that thrives and that can't survive and that can deal with all the pressures and different dilemmas, happy moments, sad times that life throws at you. Watch your favorite Christmas movie or Christmas movies. I have loved doing, I say that in another video, you're talking about um, favorite Christmas traditions. Um, but I'm watching my mom and dad have a blast when watching Christmas movies. You know, just him and her. And, um, you know, we do come in the front and watch it with them. But we kind of just kind of give them a space and just love watching them have their quality time as husband and wife. Um, go, out, go out at night and admire the stars. So that doesn't have to mean... You're out in the front, and if you have a telescope or just, you even have to have that, just looking up and you be using your hands, just glancing and looking up at the stars. That's just something to just put you in that respectful mode of gratitude and kind of just taking on the stress and aggravation away of the day, or even maybe what would have happened that evening. Maybe it's going in your backyard and you're sleeping under the stars, having a tent or whatever. Whatever you do, um, cook your favorite meal and enjoy. So for different people, that's different things. So, you know, for me, I love turkey meatloaf, you know, because I can do different things with it. So I just really love enjoying cooking as much as I can when I'm feeling it at my best. Finally, number 20. Okay, 
Do a dance, let loose, and have a great time. So you don't have to have the best dance. You don't have to be on the show so you think you can dance. You don't have to do your moves. So rather it's for the world to see or just for you, have a blast and have fun. And it's exercise that it counts as well. So it's burning calories. <laughs> These 20 tips, you know, will help you enjoy and fully embrace and be in the moment and help you to hopefully less stress as much as possible. Much love to you. Much peace. Bessels. Keep the feet. Enjoy the holidays. And we'll see you again in the very next video. Mwah! Bessels. Mm -hmm.